partnership was unveiled this afternoon on the campus of Florida Institute of Technology in Melbourne. Yeah, the school is known for aviation and aerospace, but now it's moving to the racetrack. Local 6's Justin Warmoth is at Florida Tech with more on their new race car. Well, here it is, the 27-foot-long Florida Tech Jet Dragster. And not only will the school's logo be right here on the car, but students here will be involved in every aspect of the racing team. For the past 57 years, Florida Tech has been known for their expertise in aerospace and aviation, but now they're going racing. This afternoon, FIT and Florida-based Larson Motorsports unveiled this 5,500 horsepower Florida Tech branded Jet Dragster. The 27-foot-long race car has a General Electric jet engine producing 5,000 pounds of thrust, not to mention reaching speeds of 280 miles per hour in about five seconds. Elaine Larson, along with her husband Chris, own world-renowned Larson Motorsports. Not only are we going to be able to get the branding out there by going to the racetracks, we're also going to be able to afford opportunities for some of the existing students that go to FIT to come out and work on a world championship race team. Larson said they've been looking to team up with Florida Tech for quite some time because of the school's rich engineering and science background. President Andy Catanese thinks it's a logical next step for the students and the school. He points out that Larson Motorsports is an all-women driver team, a gender that lacks at Florida Tech. This will be a great way for us to uh, uh, interest high school students and, and, and young women uh, that coming into engineering and science education. The dragster will be touring the country as part of the International Hot Rod Association Nitro Jam with driver Shay Hallbrook at the wheel. And this dragster will compete in 12 events this season, including one right around the corner February 6th in Tucson, Arizona. For now, reporting at Florida Tech, Justin Morgan, Football 6.